quality racing and intense competition. All the right ingredients for a fantastic championship battle. To another level! Like to go out, good stop. Sam spin, and that puts Josh Cook into the lead of the race. Round one, won by Josh Cook. Big, big impact there. Cook has managed to hang on to that race lead. It's going to be two out of two. Getting off to a dream start, just incredible. Sutton goes through, absolutely fantastic. The reigning champion wins. Through goes Ash Sutton, he could barely be close. Lovely move. Ash Sutton, second win of the season, fantastic. For the race lead, Tom Ingram on the inside, great racing. Tom Ingram is absolutely over the moon. To another level. Oh, huge effort from Ingram. He's taken over the lead, Tom Ingram wins. BTC Racing starting the year in style. He wasn't a race winner, but defending champion Ash Sutton was in solid point scoring form at Brands Hatch a month ago. Enough to give him a slender three point lead over Tom Ingram at the top of the driver's standings. Then a 23 point gap to Josh Cook in third. And the rest have a bit of ground to make up, including four time champion Colin Turkington in fourth, who had one of his worst ever weekends at Brands Hatch. Then Jake Hill, Tom Oliphant, Dan Robottom and Jason Plato complete the top eight. But remember, we're still less than a third of the way through the season. Among the other championships, Ash Sutton's Laser Tools Racing have increased their lead in the team's competition. And Accelerate have moved up to second ahead of BMW thanks to Tom Ingram's performance at Brands Hatch. But BMW still lead the manufacturer's competition. Ash Sutton and Tom Ingram are also setting the pace in the Independent Drivers' Championship, while just one point separates Accelerate and Laser Tools Racing in the team's competition, with Ingram's team on top at the moment. The Jack Sears Trophy is for drivers who started the season without a podium finish. Well, Dan Robottom got that first podium at Brands Hatch, so he now has a decent lead over Sam Osborne. Well, you get the feeling that things are really starting in earnest now. Three meetings gone in the 10-round series, but three more coming over the next month. And there is no better place to see the spectator restrictions lifted than here at Alton Park, where the North West fans come in their tens of thousands to watch the touring cars battle around the two and a quarter miles of the island circuit, plus a full support programme as well. It's going to be an action-packed day. Out go the lights, let's see, as the 10th round of the 2021 Championship is underway, and look at that, Rory Butcher goes right out towards the wall, gets it all back in, Shedden's having a look around the outside line, but it's the two world toddlers that come through in the position. Oh, now why? Now why? It's Colin Turkington, isn't it? Coming down to his lock, he will break latest and turn in, Jenny tries to slot in, which he just manages to do in front of Jack Gott. Lunge up the inside, Butcher left a bit of room there. Butcher didn't close the door enough. Strobottom from the outside, quick stop by the BMW as well, and Adam Morgan in third. Oh, off goes the number four, Sam, Sam Osborne. Osborne. Strobottom will take a first win in the British Touring Car Championship. Flashes his lights, Strobottom takes the win. And it's Shannon in second place, having started the restart pole position. Adam Morgan in third. We're underway, let's see, Robotter makes a good job away, so too, and it does, Adam Morgan from third position will be looking good, Shep trying to come across, Morgan going up, trying to go to second place, but Shep gets across, and it's his second, it's his teammate that leads. Oh, Butcher's actually up the inside of, uh, of, of Robotter, which forces Robotter into Shepard, they're side by side, who's going to come out from? Shepard has to get the defensive, we've got Stephen Jenny coming up in the mix in the BMW as well, but it's Butcher coming through to the lead, Rory Butcher leads! Brocky getting stuck in again, there's contact car spinning round into the uh, barrier, Jack Goff. Well, we did put the curse of the commentator on him with the run of points, he is off after that contact. Oh, Marshall, what a brave job for Marshall. Yeah. Oh, poor fella. Look here with the problem, diving down the inside that line there is Jason Brayton. Rory Butcher takes the win, it'll be a roar inside the car for sure, as well, I am sure. 
Long weight on the lights, and as expected, Ashton gets away well. Set the front to not too bad with his balance as well. As they head down into turn one, side by side for the lead, and Ashton's going to go for it. Set the front to hold him ground though on the inside line, and Sutton's being made to work. It's Jelly in third place, still bit of a rub with the Honda as they went around Old Hall Corner for the first time, and Set the front to making the fight of it, but Sutton goes through it into the lead. Yeah, well he did do it at turn one, and we've got a rotating Sam Osborne. He's underway, let's see something gets away well, everybody off the line, and once again Senna Proctor seems to be holding his own as they go down into Old Hall, uh, Ash Sutton's going to go for the sweep round the outside, got his nose in front, and gets tagged by Proctor, the script has been torn up again! Oh, he down tagged his teammate Carl Bordley, that wheel's come off so that's going to be a problem. Oh, Bordley's on! Oh, Bordley and tags! Butcher! Butcher. Red flag. It's going to be red for Chapter Two, isn't it? Well done, Senna. Our next live action, as we've been saying, is in two weeks' time when we make our annual trip north of the border to Knock Hill in Scotland. Very similar circuit in terms of its challenges to here at Alton Park. 11:15 a.m. on ITV4 for the start of our coverage. Qualifying will be the day before that at 2:45 uh, p.m.